Hello and welcome to my bedroom. Hello and welcome to the channel that covers everything where health and technology meet. Today, a review of eight sleep after one year of use. And this is gonna be a direct, no fluff, get right to the point type of video. After one year of using this thing, what do I really think? So we'll kick this video off with the first thing you're gonna have to do, and that's assemble this thing. Now you know how it is, you buy something and you kinda get in, you see the boxes and the parts and you quickly realize you have to put it together. You kinda have that moment, even though you're excited about it. Well, this is one of those rare situations where I actually enjoyed assembling it. Part of that was because I was geeking out a little bit and I was just excited about all the things this bed can do. But second, it's kind of fun. You throw the mattress up there and it's all compressed. You get to cut a hole in the plastic and watch it expand. From there, you zip on the top layer, the cover that goes on the mattress. You get the hub out, you plug it in, you fill it in with water. And before you know it, you're just playing on your phone looking at all the things the bed can do. So no problems there whatsoever. Topic two, take away all the bells and whistles, all the fanciness of this bed. Is it comfortable? Well, to be clear, there's a couple ways you can go. You can get the full solution I have here, which means they send you the mattress, the cover, the hub, everything to have your mattress, bed, and the eight sleep experience. But you can also just buy the cover and the hub and adapt it to your own mattress. So if you don't like the way I describe this feel, there is that route and you can do that on your own and get your own mattress with the eight sleep features. But in my case, the mattress that does come with this, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a foam mattress. And the first time I sat down on it, I noticed I really sank in, which I'm doing right now. But as soon as you lay down, you kind of balance out your weight. It's more of a firm feedback. So you do kind of sit on the top. You don't sink in this like a Tempur-Pedic or anything like that, but it's still soft enough to be comfortable. And that's what I like in a bed. I want it to be firm, but still soft enough on the top that you feel good. Third category, let's talk about the fanciness of this bed. All the bells and whistles and what they do for the quality of sleep and also just the overall enjoyment of being in this bed. And for me, it breaks into three main categories. Manual features, automatic features, and learning features. And when I say automatic, I mean the bed's gonna do some things on its own, you don't have to worry about it, but you can still take control. And that's what I mean when I say manual. So if you get in bed and you're like, man, I'm hot, you can just go turn that dial, make it cooler, and you're enjoying a cooler bed pretty quickly. And for me, the example I can think of is I've been playing basketball once a week. And when I do that and I get home, I play late at night, I take a shower and I try to get to bed as quick as I can because it's already getting pretty late, but I am producing so much heat. After a couple hours of running like crazy, I am just so hot and my normal settings that this bed's at on that specific night are just not good enough. So what I do is I crank the coolness way down and I quickly feel myself starting to cool down. And that's just one example of the manual side, but basically the point is, is you can adapt this to what you want. You might be just having a morning where it's cool inside the house and you wanna have a cup of coffee and watch a show, you turn the heat up a little bit, you can do that. You have the manual control to turn that bed into what you want, cool it down or heat it up, and it's just nice to be able to do that depending on what you want at that given moment. I'm trying to cover everything as quick as I can and hopefully I'm doing an okay job, but if you could, real quick, toss a like on the video. I really, really appreciate it. And if you are interested in looking into this bed, I have a link in the description. It does help support the channel, so a huge thank you to you if you do check that out. But when you think about the automatic side, this bed is full of sensors, learning capabilities, understanding your room conditions, and it uses all these different data inputs to try to give you the best sleep possible. And a lot of this goes into its sleep schedule, so it has different stages throughout the night and it will change the temperature of the bed based on those stages to try to help you stay in the deep sleep that you need to get the best restorative sleep possible. And when you think about sleep, you wake up a lot, sometimes minor, sometimes major, but this can have a big impact on your quality of sleep. And while you do have those minor ones, sometimes the major ones, thinking of, I'm too hot, I need to pull my sheets down, or oh, now I'm cold, I need to pull the sheets up, or I just can't get comfortable, I'm gonna go turn the fan on or open a window, all these different instances of waking up interrupt your sleep and cause you just not to get a quality of sleep you need to feel refreshed and restored in the morning. But with all the smart features of this bed, you just find yourself being comfortable all night long, which is nice on its own because you're just comfortable. You go to bed, you feel great all night long and you wake up and that's that. You just felt good all night. But on top of that, because you were comfortable all night, you're not moving, you're not getting uncomfortable, you're not trying to correct how hot or cold you are, you're not trying to change the room conditions, you're not turning up the AC or heat and things like that. You're just comfortable because it's maintaining you where you need to be to just stay asleep, 
nice and deep all night long. And that just results in you getting so much better sleep that you feel so much better the next day. And my third part about the fanciness of this bed is just talking about the learning capabilities or what you get from the data and all the sensors. And I'm gonna keep this short because I know talking about data isn't the most exciting thing ever. But you get things like sleeping heart rate, how many times you toss and turn, sleeping heart rate, HRV, sleeping respiratory rate, and a lot more. And with all that information, you can do a couple nice things. And first, the bed itself. You can update the schedule. You might find that you sleep better, a little cooler in the middle of the night, and you wanna wake up to more of a warmer situation. You can change the schedule to do that, but you can also turn on the machine learning and let it make changes as it learns about you. But second to that, all this information can tell you how well you're sleeping and how changes in your lifestyle might influence the quality of your sleep because there's a lot more into it than just the bed itself. Things you do as far as how you eat, when you eat, how much you eat, when you exercise, how you exercise, what you do before you go to bed, all these things can influence the quality of your sleep and this bed's gonna give you the information to tell you if it's helping or hurting so you continue making the right choices that work for you. Category four, how well is this bed holding up after a year? And you could get a little nervous buying a bed like this because there's so much more to it. It's not just a mattress. There's the hub, so there's a machine that's gotta do stuff that's got water in it. And then you have the bed itself and it's hooked up to the hub and it's got water in the top layer. So is that gonna spring a leak or is it just gonna wear down over time or are the connections gonna go bad? There are a lot of things that could worry you. And I'm happy to report that after a year of sleeping on this, three kids that probably don't treat it as gentle as they should, I have had zero issues. This bed is the same bed that I got when I first assembled it day one. I'm super happy with how this bed's held up, how it's had zero issues, so nothing but thumbs up from me. In my last category, do I think this is a good investment? And I know this is expensive, I fully understand that. And I think a lot of people when they think about purchasing something like this, they get in the mindset of almost like when they're thinking about home gym equipment. You know, you're kind of thinking to yourself like, I need to get back into exercise and I know I need it. I, I need to exercise, I need to take better care of myself. And when you think of it, you're kind of like already in that mindset of, well, I can buy this thing and when it comes in, I'll use it. And then it comes in, you look at it and you're kind of like, nope and you don't end up using it and you worry that the bed is kind of like that. It's an investment that might not pay itself off. But with the home gym equipment, you're not guaranteed to use it. That's up to you. But with sleeping, you know you're gonna do that every night. And you know the quality of sleep that you get will influence your next day by a lot. If you are tired, constantly fatigued, your entire day is less than it should be. You feel lethargic, you're not motivated, you don't try to learn things, you don't have as good of an attitude as you normally would, you might be grumpy, you kind of just settle in front of the TV instead of getting things done and being motivated. Your entire day is influenced by how tired you are. And when you get good sleep, you just have the energy to do things that maybe you normally wouldn't. You have a positive aura to you that just feels good because you're not battling fatigue and half falling asleep all the time. And I don't want to sound like I'm overselling this. Even if you take the eight sleep out of this, and we just talk about sleep in general, you don't want to go through every day of your life just always feeling exhausted, always feeling down, always feeling like everything is a battle. So by getting better sleep and just taking care of something or improving on something that you know you're going to do every single day, it might make every day that much more positive. You might feel that much more motivated to get things done. You might find that your job is easier to do, learning new skills is easier to do. Things that you want to tackle in your life just become easier and more fun to do. And so whether eight sleep is the option for you that makes that happen, I don't care, but I am pointing out that good sleep can make a big difference in your life. And personally, I wouldn't trade in the eight sleep for anything. Now, I am not a sleep expert. I haven't tried any other smart mattresses. Maybe there are other ones out there that are better, but I can say after going from what was a very good mattress to the eight sleep, I am so happy I have this bed. I am more comfortable. I sleep better. I have all sorts of information at my fingertips and I can control things with my phone instantly. It's just been so nice. I feel like I get much better sleep. I just feel better when I sleep. I wake up refreshed. The way it wakes me up is better. Just everything about my sleep is better. So I have been thoroughly happy with that. And so with that, whatever the bed you choose is, if you spend a little extra on something that you know you're gonna do every day, 
and then it influences every day to be better because you have that energy that I keep repeating, it's probably a good investment. And I don't want to ever spend money that people maybe don't have to spend. But if you're on the fence and you're like, I know I have the money, I'm just trying to decide if it's a good decision for me, getting better quality sleep and just feeling better every day, in my opinion, is usually going to be worth the investment. So I did my best to keep this video on point and hopefully I did okay. But if there is anything you want more details on, let me know in the comments down below. Again, please like the video if you could. There's a link to the bed in the description down below if you want to check it out. Subscribe to stay on top of everything where health technology meet. And until next time, here's to a healthier you and have a good one.